Hey everyone, Paul from Ortho Eval Pal here. Today, what I want to do is I want to do a little deep dive into how to perform a C5 or a biceps reflex. We'll be talking about deep tendon reflexes. Want to just break this down because a lot of people have questions on how do we get a better reflex? How do we become more consistent with it? And one of the things, one of the tricks to this is, is practice. You need to practice and practice and practice. So what I'll do is I'll give you some tips today on how to make it a little bit easier and a little bit better. Um, but the first thing we're going to talk about is a C5 or a biceps reflex, which is a, a very common reflex to test. I test these probably on a daily basis in my clinic. Um, but what we want to do is we want to find that bicep tendon. Now with some people, it's really easy. Okay. Uh, right here, I can feel hers. Couple things we can do. We can give her a little bit of resistance to elbow flexion and then we can really feel that tendon pop up. Or what I prefer to do is try to pronate her and she's going to resist me. So go ahead and don't let me turn that wrist in and that tendon pops right up right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her keep that pressure on and I'm just gonna draw where that tendon is and it is right here. that area right there okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come around her like this and i really need her to relax i want to feel that tendon with my thumb and it's difficult to get the reflex hammer down into that tendon really well so what you do is you put your thumb right on that tendon and the idea here is to strike the thumb which also goes through the thumb into the tendon it produces a little stretch reflex and basically the muscle will contract and um, you'll see the elbow flex a little bit, okay? Typically, not everybody. Um, if somebody doesn't have any reflexes at all, we don't worry about that. Uh, there are a lot of people that don't have reflexes. Um, we look for symmetry and we look for hyperreflexia or an unusual amount of reflex with somebody. Um, and uh, we will be doing a video on those unusual findings that uh, we get. Um, so what we do is we have the patient really relax and then you put your thumb on that tendon and then you're gonna take your reflex hammer and typically the sharper side of the reflex hammer and you're going to give this a really nice quick snap like that. Now it's very important that you don't leave the reflex hammer there, that you don't do it like this. You don't push it down onto the thumb. That there's a good swing and it has to be able to kind of almost bounce off of the thumb a little bit, all right? That's very important. Um, you want to hit that tendon as perpendicular as possible. That's important also. And um, you don't have to do it many times, but if you, um, if you want to try it a couple of times and you get it maybe one out of three times, then it's a good reflex, okay? It's, it's, it doesn't mean that it's bad if you try three or four times and you only get it on the last time, okay? If you get it, then you get it. So the key is good swing speed, a reflex hammer that has some good density in the head. You don't want a real soft styrofoam type of reflex hammer. Those don't work very well, okay? So that's an example of how to perform a C5 or a biceps deep tendon reflex. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you did, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.